praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I'm the president of uh, United Women for All Nations. My name is Apostle Amen Favor Osuyi. This uh, United Women for All Nations uh, started the year 2013, where we first inaugurated it. And since then, we have been working, we have been praying from one local government to another local government. We've been organizing seminar programs and so on and so forth. We've been praying for Nigeria. We have never relented from praying for Nigeria. For Nigeria has been our target because it's united women of all nations. And our own is to pray for nations and families and churches that the will of God might be done in churches and all that. And our family, the family of God, will be we stand righteous before God. Hallelujah. United women of all nations, they are not only in Nigeria, we have a branch in Ghana, or we also have in Côte d'Ivoire, and also, uh, by the grace of God, we also uh, have, now we've uh, uh, inaugurated one in the UK, and another one also is coming up in the uh, USA, in Ohio, and uh, somebody is uh, trying to also coordinate that. So we want to go to all nations of the world, and uh, want to take Christ. Women want to take Christ to all nations. <laughs> Through the ministry of intersections and prayers. Standing regard for nations. We all know what is going on now. That things have uh, things have not been okay all over the world. It's only God Christ is the answer to the world today. Is the answer and is the end of sickness, is the end is the end of tribulations and all that and that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for United Women for All Nations. Thank God for the year has come to an end. I want to say that United Women of All Nations has impacted my life in many ways and diverse ways. When I joined this uh, organization, I, it was during the lockdown last year and um, since it was a praying organization, we prayed online, we were fasting, praying morning and evening, 12 noon in the daytime, 6 p.m. At, at evening time. We, we kept praying, sometimes I'll be on the road, when I say it's time, I'll just join the prayers online and we kept praying and praying. I want to thank God that for at that season, some things we prayed about, we saw results. Talking about the close down of churches in Nigeria. After, during that season, we were praying for the church. When we heard news that the church was reopened, we began to rejoice and we believed that, yes, God is at work in, the, in this organization and is at work and is hearing our prayers. I remember some other times we had time to pray. We, pray, we prayed for individual um, uh, personal prayers. And we had testimonies. Sometimes somebody sent in a prayer request asking us to pray for a brother's son that was kidnapped. We began to pray at that season. By the next day, we had news that the boy was released. So testimonies has been abounding, has been following us. We believe that it's, it is God that actually calls one. It's not easy to actually pray for people and not for yourself. You know, it's not easy as Christians. It's not, sometimes, it's, let me not say as Christians, as individuals. It's not easy to intercede for others. Why not your own self? So it's all about you having the passion, the commitment, the dedication, and the strength, and trusting God for, for the grace. So it has been God's grace for us, interceding for nations, for Nigeria as, a, as, as our nation, for churches, for ministers, and for our children, for youths and families. I want to thank God that all the times we have been praying, we have seen results. So once we return every glory to God, thank God for that grace and the strength. Praise God. I want to thank the Lord for how he has been helping us 
in this um, association. The Lord has been so faithful. Uh, since I joined this association, it has been a blessing to me and to my family, to the church as well. And uh, whenever we gather to pray for our nations, God answered prayers. And even as our family uh, requests are coming in for prayers, and when we join hands and pray, God answers prayer. So it has been a wonderful platform of women and that God has been using to touch lives inside and outside. And once again, I want to say, United Women for All Nations is a place to be. And for those who have interest to intercede for the nation, I want to encourage them to join us. As they are praying for the nation, God will be intervening on behalf of their family, their churches, and every other thing they put their hands to do in life. Thank you. I want to thank God because there is a saying that says, when there are people to pray, there is a God to answer. So anytime we gather to pray, we see the hands of God answering us. It has shaping our lives, shaping our homes. It has shaping so many things. You just remember it is time to pray. When we started praying online, it was like, how could it be? But when testimonies started coming, we knew that indeed, you don't need a particular place to pray. Whenever you pray, God answers. I have seen it in this United Women of All Nations. Where prayer requests will come just online, things will begin to shape. And even in Nigeria, when the kidnapping was so strong and when we raised our voices, Things were hearing new, new laws coming in and things were changing. People were removing on the seat as we were praying. I know that it's not a mistake. God gathered these praying women. And that plan for God consigning this group will come to pass in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I actually joined this group early last year. When Mama told me about it, I was very glad because intercession is my calling. And uh, already I was spending one hour daily on the altar praying for the nation before I was informed about the group. So when she told me, I was very happy and I joined. And since I joined this group, I know my prayer life has been boosted. And not only that, there have been testimonies, not only on what we pray for, but in my own personal life, God has actually shown me that he answers prayer. So I just want to thank God that I belong to this group. And um, as many that are interested, you are free to be part of it because it's a place where you build your spiritual life. I want to thank God for the president of this initiative. Her passion for, for prayers, you know, is one thing that really drew me to her. That passion for God really drew me to her. And then since... I've joined this uh, initiative. My prayer life has uh, changed, you know. There is difference between one woman praying and so many women coming together to pray concerning a particular thing. And uh, we need to understand that, uh, you know, God answers the prayer of women more than that of the men. <laughs> I know when we come together with our passion and cry to God, he has no option than to answer us. We have seen it in various ways, testimonies that have been happening. My own was, you know, during the lockdown, uh, we, we, got, we got online and started praying. And, uh, you know, our, the, like, the lockdown took us on our way, especially me and my family took us on our way. And uh, we were not prepared for anything. There was nothing, nothing at, at all to fall back to, nothing. And you know, when we started praying, I, had, I was having this passion to pray. I had that passion to pray. And there was something that came up online. One of the pastors in, uh, in the platform uh, saw a link, introduced a link. And from that link, something, something, something happened. And before you know it, there was ah, a big miracle. So I thank God for, you know, making me a part of this uh, initiative. God bless you. This initiative, I mean, I mean this forum, I entered this organization and I noticed that it is an organization that will help you to build capacity of prayers. Your, the intent 
of this forum is enough for a woman to stand firm as a winner wherever you are. So this organization, I see it as, as the key for us to unlock maybe our hidden treasures. Like uh, what the Bible says in, in Ephesians 4 verse 11 to 12. He says, and he gave some an apostle and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors. Whatever gift that you have been endowed from God, it will help you to build it more with love. Because as we gather, we share love in common. As we gather, we share experiences in common. As we gather, we pray all through. So our ability to divert our prayers to nations, to states, to churches, to life of people, helps me a lot to stand firm to continue the work of God. So I appreciate it's a team of honor and it's a team of joy to be in this organization, United Women for All Nations. I'm very glad being here and I'm working towards perfecting everything that God has committed into my hand to put out to the lives of public. Of the Lord be highly praised in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God for this group because God has been doing marvelous things in the life of the women. No wonder the Bible said that women were the first people that saw Jesus when he was risen from the dead. Women play very strong parts in the Christendom, even in the church. So I want to thank God for our president Reverend Mrs. Emme, for the strength and power that God has given to her to coordinate these women. And I pray that God will continue to strengthen her in Jesus' name. I also want to thank God for these women, how we come out together, we pray together, and wherever we pray, God answer our prayer in different ways. So I want to thank God for God making me to be a partaker of this group. This is a place to be. I love this place. And I pray that God will continue to bind us with that acabe glove. That nothing will separate us and nothing will scatter the love that we have together in this uh, organization. In Jesus' name. So I love you all. God bless you. I really want to thank God for this Women for All Nation because it has indeed been a blessing to me, myself, and I know it has been a blessing to every one woman under this Women for All Nation. Uh, I want to thank God for the privilege of being a member and I've been an executive of this uh, Women for All Nation since we started. This program, the Women Interceding for All Nation, has impacted my life personally and have also helped me to grow in my work with God. And one thing that I really understand with these women, we don't just gather as women, we gather together to pray for both our nation, our church, our families, and our children. And we can say from since we started since 2013, it has been a blessing indeed because we have diverse kind of testimony coming from the women from other chapters. And in my own life, it has been a blessing because it has helped me to grow in my personal work with God. In my ministry, it has helped me a lot. And I've come to understand and know more about God and the purpose of being a woman. So I really want to appreciate God for that and the privilege of being among this group called the United Women for All Initiative. Thank you.